All right, listen, I'm going to show you the only way to design a life insurance policy specifically designed for cash value. If you have another insurance agent or advisor that's out there trying to show you a different route how to do this, they are wrong. It's not the correct way. This is the Nelson Nash way on how to design life insurance policies for cash value. Let me explain. So first, what we're looking at right now is just the insurance product spectrum. In the past, you'd have the wealthiest cats in the world that were putting millions of dollars into life insurance policies. They were called single premium insurance, where they would go to the insurance carrier and say, I have $5 million. The carrier would come back and say, I'll give you $5,100,000 of death benefit. They did not use the life insurance policies for the death benefit, but for the living benefit, which is the creditor protection, the guaranteed cash value, the compounding interest that's tax-free, all of the qualities and attributes of life insurance that we all want, but we can't have that really in any other location that's out in the market. They discovered this with single premium insurance. The problem was is that the government got a hold of this and they said, look, you guys aren't breaking the rules, but we're not getting a place. We're not getting a piece of this. So we want to participate. So back in 1972, the government passed what was called the ERISA Act and included in that was called a thing called the Modified Endowment Contract Line or the MEC line that you probably heard of. And what this means essentially is that if you have access to too much capital in the very first year of a life insurance policy, you are not using that life insurance policy for its purpose, which is the death benefit, which is insurance. You're using it as a tax shelter or an investment vehicle. So we're going to send you a 1099 every year. So what happened is, and this is why I think insurance industry gets a bad reputation, is the entire focus shifted to the far right-hand side of the spectrum, where it was focused on death benefit and essentially profits to the insurance company. So that includes everything from term insurance, which is pure expense, variable universal life, index universal life, and even traditional whole life. Well, what happened is Nelson Nash came around in the 80s and discovered that you can take these whole life policies flip them on its head, remove the cost of insurance, run these bad boys up right next to this mech line and have all these same attributes of the single premium insurance. But because you're on the right hand side of the modified endowment contract line, you don't pay any taxes. So that is the whole spectrum as to how you can see how these policies are, are created. The far left is all cash, no death benefit. The far right is all death benefit, no cash value. And candidly, all fees and commissions. We're trying to remove those costs down to the IRS minimum. That's the whole point of this thing, okay? So let me show you guys how these things are designed. Again, let's say that you were to make a deposit of $100,000 into a policy. Again, that ratio is created by the IRS. That's where that MEC line is. And so you can see in the top portion, imagine yourself back in high school, like a fraction. In the numerator here, the top portion, it's what's called flexible paid up rider. You probably heard of things called paid up additions. That's the cash value in the very first year of a policy. All of this money immediately goes to cash. It's from your left pocket to your right pocket. The base premium or this denominator of this fraction is what's called the base premium. This is the cost of insurance. We are trying to shrink that amount of money down to the smallest amount that we possibly can and put as much money as we can to cash value. But we have to send a portion of every dollar to cost in the very first year in order to satisfy the IRS rules. This 60-40 ratio is as efficient as you can build it. You're going to have guys that are out there saying, oh, you can put a term rider on it. We can do a heck v, a high early cash value policy and slap a massive term rider on your policy. Do not listen to them because what they're doing is they are creating more expense in the policy. If you put a massive term rider and have access to a couple extra bucks in the very first year, not only are you creating a cost, which is term insurance, but you're also ruining your insurability. If you slap on an extra $10 million of death benefit, you've ruined the insurability of future opportunities for you to go and do more policies like this. Do not allow somebody to slap a massive term rider on your policy so you can have access to a couple extra bucks in the first year. It's foolish and it's incredibly short-sighted. So just to go into one more detail of this, that PUA, which is called a flexible paid up rider, what it means is it doesn't have to happen every single year. You're not forced to make that extra $60,000 deposit. The way we build these policies, the way that I do it for my clients and I do it for myself and my own family is we build a ceiling and a floor. That ceiling is going to be the flexible paid up rider 
plus the base premium. So these two numbers together equals 100,000. Or you can have down to the floor, which is just the base premium or any number that you want in between. But at the end of the day, do not let somebody tell you that there's another way to do it because there's not. Everybody has to play by the same rules. It's who do you actually want to work with? Do you want to work with somebody that's focused on commissions and focused on themselves? Or would you much rather prefer focusing with somebody that does it the exactly the way that Nelson Nash told us to do it and is a Nelson Nash purist? Again, I'm not even talking about myself. I'm talking about my firm here in Birmingham where we do everything the Nelson Nash way. So if you are interested to learn how you can practice infinite banking and focus more on policy loans and how to invest in opportunities that you know, like, and trust, this is just a vehicle to help you get there faster because of the compounding tax-free nature of these bad boys. So if you're interested in learning how you can utilize infinite banking or whole life insurance structured for cash value accumulation, click the link below in my bio to schedule a call and I'll show you how to get started.